How many fingers am I holding up behind my back? How should I know that? I'm Bill Cage, your Dr. Carter. We've had this conversation before. You have two fingers behind your back. I've had the visions. Hello, movie buffs. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're tackling a big one. Why haven't we gotten a sequel to Edge of Tomorrow? Buckle up, because this ride is about to get as bumpy as a dropship descending into battle. Edge of Tomorrow brought us a smorgasbord of aliens, action, and time loops, all wrapped up in a summer blockbuster package. Uh, holy fuck! But it wasn't just another alien invasion flick. Oh no. It was something unique. Something more. You see, Edge of Tomorrow did the unthinkable. It took a concept that could have been a one-trick pony, the time loop, and turned it into a narrative powerhouse. Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt didn't just face off against malevolent extraterrestrials. They relived their battle, learning and growing with each reset. It was Groundhog Day meets Starship Troopers, and we couldn't get enough. But despite the critical praise and the fans clamoring for more, Edge of Tomorrow seemed to vanish into the mist of unrealized potential. Why? The answer is as complex as the movie's plot. Let's talk numbers. Edge of Tomorrow faced an uphill battle from the start. With a hefty production and marketing budget of almost $300 million, it had to perform a miracle at the box office. And while it didn't bomb, it didn't soar either. Raking in just over $370 million worldwide, it was a modest success, but not the runaway hit Warner Bros. had hoped for. Now in Hollywood, sequels are a game of risk and reward. And typically, studios want to see big rewards before they take that risk again. So the lukewarm box office performance of Edge of Tomorrow put a sequel on thin ice. And then, hope flickered. In 2015, we got word from Christopher McQuarrie and Doug Lemon. A sequel idea was brewing. The fandom buzzed with excitement. Could we really be getting more of Major William Cage and Sergeant Rita Vertasky's time-looping warfare? However, as we all know too well, the gears of the movie machine grind slowly. Tom Cruise jetted off to hang from planes and scale skyscrapers in Mission Impossible, while Emily Blunt found herself dealing with quieter but no less deadly aliens in A Quiet Place. Timing is everything. And the timing for Edge of Tomorrow 2? Well, it just didn't sit right. And then came 2020. Thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic, if the sequel's prospects were on shaky ground before, now they were as uncertain as Cage's survival chances on the battlefield. But let's pause here for a moment. Why do we care so much about the sequel? What is it about Edge of Tomorrow that has us stuck in our own loop of hope and disappointment? The answer, friends, is simple. It's the story, the characters, the world that was built with such care and cleverness. We want to go back. We want to see what happens next. And we're not alone. Even acclaimed filmmakers like Barry Jenkins have sung its praises years after its release. The love for Edge of Tomorrow hasn't faded. It's only grown stronger. So here we are, waiting, wondering, will it ever happen? The truth is, we don't know. Making movies is a complex dance of schedules, budgets, and creative energy. And all the pieces need to fit perfectly for a sequel to come to life. Emily Blunt is so ready, and we're sure Tom Cruise is too, in between his impossible missions. We're going in, Cage. Doug Lee Man has ideas that could revolutionize sequels as we know them. But until those stars align, both in the sky and in Hollywood, Edge of Tomorrow 2 remains a question mark. But if Edge of Tomorrow taught us anything, it's to keep fighting, to keep pushing. Each loop, each day, each attempt brings us closer to victory. So we'll keep that hope alive. Because in the world of movies, just like in Cage's War Against the Aliens, anything is possible. So there we have it, the tangled timeline of Edge of Tomorrow's missing sequel laid out in front of us. It seems all we can do is wait and hope that the powers will give us another day to save the world with Cage and Ritaski. What are your thoughts? Are you ready to don your exosuit and jump back into battle? Or have you moved on to other timelines? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's time traveling talk, give us a thumbs up. It helps more than you know. And if you're not part of our film loving family yet, Hit that subscribe button and join us for more explorations into the world of movies. We've got plenty of content to keep you entertained until Hollywood decides to hit the reset button on Edge of Tomorrow. Until our next adventure, this is Anna, signing off.